I want to talk about the importance of vitamin D with your hair. There's a huge association between uh, hair loss and low vitamin D levels. Let me tell you why. Because right beneath your skin, okay, so you can see your uh, hair right here, but right beneath the skin, there is something called the follicle. And that's kind of part of the root. And on that root area, you have sebaceous glands, which produce an oil and like a waxy substance that goes into the hair that protects the hair. There's also antibacterial things in there, and it does a lot of other things. But both the sebaceous gland and the follicle, which is right deep in the skin, have vitamin D receptors, okay? Now, there's various uh, growth stages of your hair, and there's one called antigen, and this is the new hair growth stage. It's the first stage from follicle to the full-grown hair. And this stage is dependent on vitamin D. And so that follicle that actually is an organ. Now you think about organs as like the heart, the liver, the kidney, but your follicle is an organ too. And this little organ underneath the skin has 20 different cell types that regulate the growth of the hair. And there's all sorts of hormonal involvement, immune cell involvement, and certain proteins that help regulate this hair. And what they found uh, with people that have hair loss and a type of hair loss called alopecia, which is an autoimmune condition where you have patches of hair falling out, um, there's been a higher level of mutations with vitamin D. And I'm talking about the receptor for vitamin D. It's called the VDR, the vitamin D receptor. If you haven't seen my video on this, I put a link down below. But what happens with a certain percent of the population is they have this variant or this alteration in the vitamin D receptor, this mutation, that can actually also spread to your offspring as well. But this uh, mutation doesn't allow a person to absorb vitamin D. And so if they're taking the normal amount of vitamin D or getting a certain amount of sun, it doesn't work, and all of a sudden they start losing their hair. And what they should do is take more vitamin D, uh, minimally 10,000 I use of vitamin D. And uh, in my video, you'll see I also recommend bile salts, which can also activate the vitamin D receptor if there's a problem with this mutation. Anyway, the point about this video is to make people aware on the significance of vitamin D in relationship to your hair. And if you are losing hair, don't forget about vitamin D. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before